men's testosterone has been dropping for decades. Chances are you may have seen articles recently discussing this issue. And this is not a newly discovered phenomenon. Researchers have known this decrease in testosterone has been happening for years. So why does decreased testosterone levels even matter? How does it affect you? What, why am I even talking about this? Well, there are some significant repercussions for not only that individual man, but society as a whole for decreased testosterone production. In this video, I will discuss studies showing these alarming trends, some of the potential causes, and what those struggling with low testosterone can do about it. First, let's talk about what testosterone even is. Both males and females produce testosterone naturally, but men producing it at higher levels. For men, it is the major sex hormone and is produced in the testes after receiving signals to do so from the pituitary gland. Testosterone is responsible for the development and maintenance of reproductive organs and function, bone health, muscle mass, red blood cell count, hair production, cognitive function, among other necessary bodily functions. This is obviously a very important hormone and has significant consequences if it goes below where it needs to be. Some of the symptoms for low testosterone in adult males can be low muscle mass, low libido, increased breast size, hot flashes, and brittle bones resulting in increased risk of fractures. So what are the studies saying? According to a 2021 study titled Decline in Serum Testosterone Levels Among Adolescent and Young Adult Men in the USA, 20% of adolescent and young adult males have a testosterone deficiency. The study went on to analyze total testosterone, TT, levels of men from 1999 to 2016. TT levels were lower from 2011 to 2016 when compared to 99 to 2000. It's interesting to note that while an increased BMI or body mass index was associated with lower TT, the trend was still significant even among men with a normal BMI. This is not unique just to the United States. According to a 2020 study titled Secular Trends in Testosterone, findings from a large state mandate care provider, over 100,000 men were studied in Israel from 06 to 19. In this study, there was a substantial decline in testosterone recorded in this period for most age groups. So let's get into causes. What is the underlying condition? What are the underlying issues that are causing these low testosterone levels? Well, depending on the source, you may find different answers. In the 2020 study I just mentioned, it was suggested that the decline in testosterone levels was not explained by the increase of obesity. However, vitamin D deficiency was encouraged to be explored. According to the Cleveland Clinic, there is no coincidence between elevated weight and declining testosterone. A higher body mass index, or BMI, will put more stress on an individual's body and potentially affect natural functions, such as testosterone production. As our society sees an increase in obesity, that could be a cause for the decreased testosterone. In my opinion, some of the causes for low testosterone seem self-evident. Our society in large has transitioned into a very, very, very sedentary lifestyle. Jobs are more sedentary and with the increase of remote work, I would imagine this is only going to continue. Like the articles I reference, remote work will likely lead to decreased vitamin D and make it more challenging to maintain a healthy weight for some people. Although these studies mentioned were conducted on data pre-pandemic, I assume that the effects from the pandemic, such as increased depression and alcohol consumption will further exhaust the issue of decreased testosterone. Finally, what can we do? What is the solution for this decreased testosterone production? That's not a difficult question to solve for some people. According to the Cleveland Clinic and countless other researchers out there, strength training is crucial. It has shown to boost testosterone levels immediately. A strength training routine should be a part of everyone's life. And it's something that I am extremely passionate about. It not only affects your physical well-being, it affects your mental well-being too. And that's why I teamed up with First Form. First Form is a premier supplemental and lifestyle brand that makes phenomenal supplements, clothing, and other accessories. 
My husband loves their protein and I've been taking their prenatal vitamins since I was pregnant, which I am no longer pregnant as I am 13 days postpartum, but I still am taking their prenatal vitamins. Although I cannot personally speak to their testosterone boosters, they do offer these as well. And they have great reviews. So make sure to check them out in the link in the description of this video. So along with consistent physical activity, diet is an essential part with maintaining high testosterone levels. Not only will this help prevent obesity, but certain foods have shown to naturally boost testosterone levels. Protein-rich foods such as eggs, chicken, red meat, have shown to boost testosterone and fruits such as berries, grapes, pomegranates, leafy greens, olive oils, and nuts such as almonds have also shown the potential to increase testosterone. It's amazing how God created us and this earth with supplying us the things we need on this earth to keep our bodies regulated. And lastly, sleep. Let's talk about sleep. Sleep is so important for overall testosterone levels and just your overall health. Lack of sleep can create more cortisol and block the production of testosterone. Sleep obviously helps with recovery and allows you to accomplish some of those other crucial activities such as adequate strength training that helps with testosterone production. And of course there's other ways to increase testosterone, but overall a healthy lifestyle is one of the best and easiest ways to do this. All of the articles I referenced in this video can be found in the description of this video. Please go check out First Form. Use the link in the description of this video. They're a great company and I absolutely love working with them. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all the things. You guys know what to do. Other than that, that is it for today. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.